Hi everyone, it's Nicola Dorlier. So today I will explain you how to integrate payments of BTC Pay server to your uh, WordPress WooCommerce websites, web store. Okay, so I, I'm going to assume that you know how to create a merchant and how to create uh, an account of BTC Pay server and how to create a store. Uh, if you didn't do it, then you should definitely check out uh, the introduction video uh, that I did last week. So I will send the link on, on, on the description. Uh, so uh, basically, I, I have my own uh, WordPress website um, here. I don't go into how to install your own WordPress. It's out of the topic today. Uh, but basically I have uh, in my shop, I have one moon suit that I need to sell. So uh, for doing that, uh, I want to integrate Bitmain payment to my, to my awesome store. Uh, so the way to do that is uh, in your admin portal, uh, you go to plugin here and uh, you add the new plugin. Uh, then you have this button here, upload plugin. Um, so uh, the plugin, you can download the plugin on the GitHub website on the link I will send you as well. Right now it's a version 2.2.13, uh, the first release that support BTC Pay. Uh, so yeah, it's still an alpha version. So if you have any feedback, I will be interested to uh, to hear about it. So I downloaded it before uh, the video and I will just select upload and choose file BitPay for WooCommerce. Install. I have some renaming to do somewhere. So activate plugin. Okay, so now I will need to configure my plugin BTC Pay for WooCommerce. Uh, for doing that, uh, it only asks me the URL of my BTC Pay server, so I will use my test one here. Okay, this one, this URL. And then when you click on pairing code here, um, it shows you a link on which you can go to get this pairing code so you can give your permission to um, WordPress to access your uh, your store. Okay, so I clicked on it. You don't have to configure anything, just request pairing, approve, and it gives you a pairing code here. So you just copy that, paste it here, and click on pair. So basically now uh, the, your, your WordPress server is, has the right to create invoices uh, into your BTC Pay server instance. Uh, so if I refresh here, so these two here are some tests I did before, but if I refresh the page, okay, so you, so you see a uh, new line here, uh, which is the access token of my store. So here it's the same. You can see that it's the same as uh, as here. Yes, TFC. Ah, TFC here. Okay, so now it's paired. Uh, just save changes. Perfect. And so let's buy the moon suit. Shop, add to cart, uh, do you record, is it what I want? Yes, one moon suit, perfect. Shipping is pretty cheap. So yeah, all the data to buy, it's so correct. And then you click on, you choose Bitcoin payments, proceed to BTC Pay. So this will create an invoice. Uh, on your store and uh, 
send your customer to this. Okay, perfect. So now you can go to copy here and see the amount and where I, you need to pay. So I will, I have an Electrum server here, uh, an Electrum wallet. Uh, so I will pay my invoice. Only replaceable, I don't like. Okay. So payment sent. Okay, I paid so I can return to the store. And that's about it. Uh, I just basically paid uh, to this order. So if you, uh, so right now I, uh, for, for those who knows um, and that use the BitPay integration, uh, in theory, you need to provide, you, you need to have a publicly available domain name. So BitPay, or BTC Pay can send you uh, notification when the customer is paying. Uh, so for this demo, I didn't do that. So that's why that if I go to my order page, uh, which is in my setting of WooCommerce orders, Okay, so you can see that here, um, this has been paid via Bitcoin. Uh, so you can see it here. Uh, so it, you can see the statue is always processing, not paid, like because uh, the, I, I didn't configure my WordPress to have a publicly available domain name. Uh, but otherwise, uh, in your portal, in invoice, uh, yeah, you, you can see it here, like the invoice just got confirmed. If I go into the details here of my invoice, you basically have all the information um, at your command. So that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, so I'm interested in two people who try it on their store and rem uh, give me some feedback about it. Uh, so this is still an alpha version uh, and it's soon out. Uh, I hope you like this podcast and probably the next one will be how to get started on development of BTC Pay or how to start installing it, uh, which is quite easy actually. Uh, thanks a lot for listening.